very clear picture of our storm system and the cool front right there. So it is just upon us. We're really going to be feeling it tomorrow and especially tomorrow night. But for today, we definitely didn't have the cold front in place. 75 degrees, only two degrees from the record of 77 uh, from 1990. So for tomorrow, we're going to see a huge drop in temperatures, 57 degrees, which is actually pretty close to the average for this time of year. Uh, Tuesday, a degree cooler, so we're going to be right about where we should be. We've just been running so warm that a big cool down just means average temperatures, but then we'll start to gain uh, a little bit of momentum as far as the temperatures are concerned, and we'll be right back above average by Thursday. However, the coldest temperatures and we actually have a freeze watch in effect for the Las Vegas Valley. This is for Tuesday morning, so Monday night into Tuesday morning could be our first freeze of the season. Notice this extends all the way out to the Moapa Valley. And by the way, this darker blue that you see there, that is a hard freeze warning for Lincoln County, and you can see that extends all the way out tonight. So be prepared on Tuesday morning because it is going to be a cold morning. Right now we're still in the breezy category for most of the Las Vegas Valley. 13 mile per hour winds North Las Vegas and at 13 uh, Nellis Air Force Base right along those lines and at McCarran at 12 miles per hour. So these winds will continue to be northerly for tonight and tomorrow. That means that if you're in northern, maybe northwestern portions of the valley, you are going to see the strongest gusts. There's seven o'clock and the nine o'clock hour, and you can see the higher numbers are definitely out here. Centennial Hills, 26 mile per hour wind sustained. Tomorrow morning, a very similar picture. The Southern Valley in the single digits, but you see North Las Vegas, 16 miles per hour winds uh, sunrise manor at 15 and 23 in Centennial Hills and even as we head into the afternoon hours notice that is lunchtime and then once we head into the four o'clock hour it's a similar picture so realistically we could still see about 35 mile per hour gusts tonight and for tomorrow, especially for the first part of the day and early afternoon. I think once we get into the evening hours, things will start to wind down. Uh, 30 mile per hour gusts on Tuesday, and we'll still keep it breezy on Wednesday, Thursday, but more than anything, that is going to be nuisance wind. So again, the cold front definitely not here yet. It's 70 degrees at McCarran, uh, still the breezy category, not a whole lot of cloud cover out there. So for tonight, Definitely cooler than last night, 43 degrees for central portions of the valley. 39 in Anthem, we do have these two 30s peppered in there. Uh, 41 in Henderson, 41 the Southern Highlands and in Boulder City. And for tomorrow, again, the much cooler temperatures, but close to the averages, 57 for central portions of the valley, 56 Sunrise Manor and Enterprise coming in at 58 degrees. So the start to the work week will be a chilly one, especially because of the breezes. We'll feel it uh, a little bit more, but take a look at these numbers. This is for central portions of the valley, but remember we could that first freeze uh, on Tuesday morning, mainly for the edges of the valley. Uh, breezy winds continue Wednesday, Thursday, then high pressure builds in. And by the weekend, we'll be back above average. Chris?